November 30th, 2023, the Ripple XR key, XR key, XRP case versus the SEC over. Well, we're going to break that down today. But first of all, my name is Coach JB. What I work to do is make the math. <laughs> that made me laugh. The complex macro and microeconomic strategy is very simple so the normal everyday person can understand, not understand. But before we do, happy, happy, grateful day. Happy, grateful day. Whatever you celebrate or his story or history, I'm just grateful to be here with you guys. I'm grateful every single day. And if you haven't yet, before we head into this bull run, I'm going to show you how I secure my capital with tier one capital, which is insurance tax code 7702, leverage life insurance. That's why we've been able to weather these bear markets and why we're going to build generational wealth from 2024 to 2025. It's in the description down below. You set up an absolutely free consultation with my licensed insurance team, and we'll walk you through the process. Number two is a 16 page guide, absolutely free. And today is Thanksgiving day. And if you are on our email list, you're not going to want to miss it. Tonight at midnight, we've never done a Black Friday sale ever, guys. I've never participated in it. But this time, we've decided to because of the position the economy is. We have one of the biggest sales we've ever done in our history of our company. We've always kind of stayed behind the scenes. But tonight at midnight, if you're on our email list, it's not going out to the public. If you're on our email list, by downloading the book, you will get the best deal you've ever seen. Life changing deal to get inside the academy okay so let's dive right into this okay so news is flying around this came out um yesterday xrp case sec announces private meeting investors await ripple lawsuit settlement okay now let me show you the document here this is the sec sunshine notice sunshine why do they call it that does anybody know sunshine act notice i probably could dive into it but it says securities and exchange commission at 2 15 p.m thursday november 30th 2023 Okay, the subject matter is closed meeting that consists of the following topics, institution and settlement injunction action, institution and settlement administrative proceedings, resolution of litigation claims, matters related to litigation, and other matters relating to examination of enforcement proceedings. So this is the announcement. There's a some sunshine notice announcement or some private meeting on 2.15 Thursday. So we'll jump into that. But Let's just, let's just put our logical circuit on for just a second. My computer's acting wacky. Okay, it's still working here. Let's put our logical circuit on for just a second, and let's talk about the holidays, guys, and black swans, okay? So SPF gets charged. CZ steps down and pays $4 million in fines. Hmm, interesting. The Bank of International Settlements guaranteed global regulation for crypto on the back end of 2023. Huh, the G20 is now announcing their global regulation for crypto. Interesting. BlackRock. Uh, ARK Investment, all the Grayscale, all of them are waiting on their Bitcoin ETF right before the Bitcoin having in April. The XRP Ripple versus SCC case gets settled three years later on this timeline. Is that just chance? Is that just, hmm, it all just lined up perfectly for the 2024 bull run? Or are we all being played? I'm going to go with the latter, though. As we look this way, there's a whole nother narrative going on this way. And I want to share with you guys an attitude of gratitude. I am so unbelievably thankful for all of you who stuck with me. I'll never forget the moment on December 20th, 2020, when I was quarantined because I own, I'm one of my companies I own is a gym and we were, you know, we got shut down because of the, the C word and the pandemic and all that stuff. We're following all the rules. Everybody was freaking out. We had half of the people freaking out, half the people were awakened. So whatever it is. And so I, we went through this whole process. So I got exposed to it. I had to quarantine myself. And on December 20th, 2020, the announcement came out from Jay Clayton. Then Jay Clayton bounces and goes to uh, New River, New River Capital to consult for a cryptocurrency fund that just increased their position in Bitcoin and Ethereum a couple of days earlier or something like that. So I knew right then, guys, I was holding on like a tick on a dog. Now, I don't care if we get an announcement on November 30th. I don't care if we get an announcement in the first quarter, guys. I am a long term fundamental holder. What I've been trying to teach people is get non-emotional about these markets. Guys, if you are emotional, you are the 99%. You should have a long-term horizon with a short-term exit plan. Let me explain that. A long-term horizon, if I do, if I meet with somebody for business or investing and they're talking about getting rich right now, we're going to make this much money in a week or I can get a pump and dump, I'm out. I'm out. They, there needs to be a five-year, 10-year horizon around the conversations, guys, because we run multiple companies. It takes years to get into profit. After we get into profit, it takes slow, methodical, planned out decisions, non-emotional to build generational wealth. Okay. So the long-term horizon is I'm holding 50% of all my cryptos long-term. Okay. 
I also look at it from the short term as an extremely speculative asset. I have an extremely, extremely strict exit plan. As it goes up, 50% of my portfolio, I'll exit 100% of 50%. Okay. Uh, down below, you can download Merlin. I'm co founder of Merlin. It'll help you set up an exit strategy so you can exit the markets and get alerts and text messages 30 days for free. Okay. So as it's going up, I'm exiting and I'm securing and max funding insurance policies. You know why? Because I don't trust what's happening with our government. I don't trust the over leveraged America. America is in a horrible position. In the 1980s, when interest rates were high, we were in a good financial position. We had a good uh, leadership team. They knew what they were doing. They were able to easily navigate our way out of those high interest rates. Guys, the leadership sucks right now. Straight up. I'm just being honest with you guys. They don't care about you. The feds, Jerome Powell has no idea how to fix this economy. He's getting more nervous, more nervous, high interest rate environment. We have more debt than we have money. Every single dollar in the system is someone else's debt. There is no damn way that I'm taking my money out of crypto and I'm setting it in a bank account and I'm not playing games with the speculative asset crypto until this stuff gets settled and there's regulation and there's you know less volatility within the market. So when I get profit, boom, I'm securing that in tier one capital, which is insurance. That's why I'm doing it. Also, I get to retire or it's not a, it's not a retirement plan, but you can access your capital tax free if it's set up properly on the back end. As you pull out of your 401k and you're taxed later, you have no idea what tax, what do you think taxes are going to be higher or lower when you retire guys with this type of economy? I'm going to beg to say that they're going to be higher. Do you guys realize that right now is one of the lowest tax brackets we've experienced in a long, long time? Do your research on taxes, guys. This is actually a very low tax bracket we're sitting in right now. So you have no idea. You have no idea when you retire with your 401k where taxes are going to be at. So not only do they not let you touch your money, they pass the risk on to you with the 401k. And you think because they're matching at 2 to 3% that they're, it's a great deal. No, they're saving a shitload of money by passing on the risk to you. And you get taxed on the back end. And you have no idea where tax is going to be. You have a million dollars sitting in your bank account and you get taxed 20 to 30%. You now have $700,000 for retirement and that'll last you maybe a couple years. So that's why we secure in tier one capital, which is what my licensed insurance team teaches you. Number three is we're focused on precious metals. Number four is we're focused on business. That's how we increase our earned income every single quarter. And number five, we're heading into real estate. And I'll keep repeating the same thing. We're going to go vertical because the normal everyday family is no longer going to be able to afford a home. Everybody's going to be moving back in together and there's going to be people needing affordable housing. So that's where we're at, guys. But my attitude of gratitude is thank you. Thank you. Thank you for those who have been here. Um, I, I just love the fact that I get to do this for a living. I love the fact that I built my own ecosystem. I love the fact that our team has never accepted money from a cryptocurrency company. And we've stayed to true with our relationship with our higher power. For me, it's God and following the life of Jesus. And I will always stand tall on that. I'm not looking for followers, obviously, because I will speak my truth around God and my, my following with Jesus. And I love you guys with all my heart. I love you as I love God. I will never judge you because I, I've been there, guys. I am not any person who can judge somebody else. My life 17 years ago was an absolute disaster. I have zero right to judge another person. And lastly, I will treat you as I want to be treated. So I love you guys. Happy Thanksgiving or whatever you celebrate. I know some people, history, his story. Stop complaining about history, guys, and expand it. Create your own. Like you have a time machine, you can't go backwards and change what happened in history that they lied and manipulated us. But what you can do is create your own by expanding conscious, consciousness and stop trying to escape the matrix and create your own. As we always say, warriors, ah, let's get your shit together. Let's go. Love you guys.